Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Josh again, and I've got the other pack that came out of the, um, excuse me, the battle pack. So we're going to build the other deck real quick. We don't need this. Tells you how to play and um, how to build decks, I'm sure, to help you with that. So it's good to have, but we're not going to go over it in this video. Let's get into the randomized stacks here. No idea what's in here. So, <clears throat> first off, we have Vile Rebirth. Uh, I'll go ahead and see what that does. Exile target creature card from a graveyard. Put a 2 2 black zombie creature token on the battlefield. Seems like a really good card to get, uh, to get creatures out early. It's a one drop. So, um, Alters Reap. As an additional co uh, cost to cast this card, you have to sacrifice a creature, but you can uh, you can draw two cards. Very good. Uh, swamp. Here's an uncommon. Uh, when Tenacious Dead dies, you pay uh, one blank mana, one swamp. If you do, return it to the battlefield tapped under your control. That's an interesting ability for a one drop. It's not bad. Uh, here's another couple swamps. Vampire Warlord. Um, pretty simple his ability it's a good card overall it's a five for a four two um, quag sickness swamp swamp okay and then it looks like we have some forest to go with that on this these are pretty randomized so you never really know what combinations you're gonna get uh, the first deck was um, was red white and we will be taking a quick look at it to see uh, which deck you guys think will be the best once I get this one built. Uh, we've got Troll Hide, Troll Hide, basically enchants a creature, seems useful. Um, Rod of Ruin deals one damage to target creature, um, and it's reusable. That's That seems decent, it's an uncommon. Um, Brindle Boar, a lot of people know what it does, so you can sacrifice for health. Deadly Recluse has reach, so that's always good. Uh, Briarback Alpha, it's an uncommon with flash. It's definitely a good card, in my opinion. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. This can get rid of our artifact uh, creatures, which sometimes can really help you out. So we got a decent, uh, decent, I guess, randomized pack there for green. I think there was a couple uncommons in there. So let's see what we get out of our uh, 15 card 2014 core set pack. Um, Sentinel Sliver, which is white. And let's see, okay. Blood Baron, uh, sacrifice another creature. Blood Baron gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. So it's an interesting card. It could, it could definitely work in this type of deck. We've got shock, so we could definitely splash red in here if we get some more red. That's good. Okay, and here's uh, claustrophobia. It's actually a good card. Um, it basically taps uh, enemy creatures so that they can't block or attack. Um, and here is another. I mean, it's it's not really the best because it only has one toughness, but it will get a quick attacker out um, with four attack for only three drop. Um, Messenger Drake, hunt the weak. Always a good card to have, um, and especially in a green deck, so we're going to use that. Here's a red. We got another one of those shields. Interesting card. And this is uh, another artifact. Target player puts the top two cards from his or her library into his or her graveyard. Um, you can continue using it, so it's good for milling, I guess. Um, here we go. Here's a Diabolic Tutor. Search your library for a card. Put it in your hand, then shuffle your library. This can be very useful later in the game when you have a card that you need to pretty much win with or uh, to get rid of a target creature. Very good. And um, so that's convenient that we got that for our black deck. Um, also, we have the rare, which is green. Uh, Garrick's Horde. I'm not sure on how good this card is, but it does have Trample. Um, it actually appears to be pretty good. Play the... Okay. So you, you reveal the top card from your library or your deck. And um, if it's a creature card, 
you can actually cast that creature, uh, but you have to pay the, the the spell of the the card, the the cost. But it still helps a lot. So let's quickly build this. We might not have to splash another color, but really we could we could do that, and it wouldn't be too bad. But let's count what we have here: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, we definitely want to splash another color, I think, because that's not enough creatures. We only have two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven creatures, technically. Eight with the zombie. Um, it looks like I would splash red because you have the shock. You have the shock right here. And then you have these two creatures to put you up to 10 creatures. So why not splash red in this deck as well? And then it looks like, you know, you have a, a strong card for late in the game. Hunt the weak will get rid of an enemy, uh, a target creature pretty quickly. So here's the uh, the deck here. My battery's about to die on my phone. So let's take a quick look at this deck. And then we'll take another look at the other deck, and uh, you guys can tell me what you think. Tell me which deck would be better, and tell me if you think I did any good on building decks. I'm still new at doing that, so if you think I'm an idiot, just go ahead and let me know. <laughs> um, but please give the video a like if you did enjoy it, if you did get this far, um, and tell me um, you know, what you liked about the video, what you didn't like. Also, these decks in the background... Um, Boros, Mono Black, and Azorius. Which one of these three would you guys be most interested in looking at? Um, I put a lot of pride in building them. They're my first. Um, these two are standard. This one's also standard, but it's not a main deck. But definitely let me know, guys. Uh, I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Uh, have a great day.